apa? Oh, kajian kajian semenanjung bu. Oi, kena marah sah. Oi, kena marah. Oi, jumpa Dendro Arkon ni lah mula-mula punya apa mission? Jangan ba. Oi, pasar sial Sumeru. Ah, saya mission ni apa ni? Oi, gila lah. Ya pelat tunggu lah saya siap update saya mute dulu saya temui orang orang bawa cakap nanti spoiler. Oh gila lah jumpa gila si ku senali awal awal. Tiada apa. Cakap lagi. Tiada apa meja apa saya tunggu papa. Ayah punya buruk saya tidak apa saya. Hi abb online bani main tu sama. Wih gila gila lah deh. Hai, saya mau spoil loh, tapi nak boleh. Anu lah, ada saya baru. Kai kau nak keyboard ke Kai? Coba bagi saya, saya beli. Ada keyboard satu, keyboard lama sa. Keyboard apa? Keyboard office. Pun keyboard office, keyboard RGB, tapi RGB ni satu warna ya. Bagi saya lah berapa kau jual? Ah, saya beli time tu dua puluh, sepuluh lah. Siapa nak? Pantara. Saya apa delivery kau? Macam mana mau delivery? Kan kita baca movie juga nanti tengok Dragon Ball. Tak kan saya bawa toki buat kira sambil tengok. Kau bawa lah. Kau pegangan. Tengok makan popcorn kan orang tengok apa pegang tu? Kipot gila kau pegang. Bawa lah. Airan orang gila kau pegang apa kipot bawa sebelah. Sayang betul kipot kan bawa tengok movie sama-sama. Ay, siapa pun, siapa pun Frozen bah, dia main sudah. Dia tidak nampak kah? Oh, I've settled for. Oh, pasti cakap buruk pasal dia punya wife baru lah. Apa saya pergi balik? Frozen main balik lah, Ginjin. Cem tidak tu. Orang stop saja lah main Ginjin, gara-gara sibuk. Dan cem kita, kita setiap hari free ya. TPKP bahkan Ginjin tu? Ya, TPKP. Nah ini Nimrod ni lah, lawak je lah lebih apa Dia sedia kan, wife dia minta tengok Tapi lawak wife dia, tapi dia cari je apa-apa lain Kuduhnya Nimrod Dia cuma sekejar Alalah Wah juga lah jalan. Nampun enam ribu lah, siap Full skill ni ni ni, seratus k ni Kau kena Kau ada dah weapon dia lah Ngam lah air dia punya apa I got you man Dia pakai Dia mana mana apa Kem the fireworks. Eh, astaga. 
Nah, yang ini bos sih you. As per our contract. Once there was a glorious. Mazi cembesa. Oh, wish lah. Ada se Zhongli sama Tignari. Apa mahu kita dapatkan? Tahu dek penan jaya jaya. Add extra abscess. For all your weapon, and the crit rate all damage of ten. Boss. Domains or domain domain baru lah. First, tapi kita buat dulu condense. Dua. Yes, dia saya buat jam tigaan. Oh, okay, ngap. Eh, jom kita buat first quest yang ada. Story quest ada lain. Ada. Of course. Oh, complete kalau ini full zda. Tignari ya, boleh bawa tignari. Woi, terbaru jo, baru jo. Burning lah orang ni. Mana what the? Sini dah sebab buka. Aduh, jatuh. Anjing. Oh, ya Allah, ada sini. Sejak tu frame dia malas sepuluh. Kalau aku nak nak niat tak penting. Jadi ya, terbuka ini exit. Jadi twitch. Login twitch. So many people here. Okay. Okay. I guess we just wing it. Okay, we need to talk about this face. Oh my god, there's so many people there. You see no wrong. Okay, we need to talk about this face. Basically. Apa password? Let's go our
Hey, yo, bro, what the fuck? That was a bitch. Video, and then it's time to look. Good roll. All right, maybe I'll take one more day off and well, no, I'll I'll send you. the work once I'm feeling up to it. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello, baby. 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 Kasoko, susah aja. Apa aja? Terus. Wih, ada azik. Kau tengok kedapatan sudah. Alawah. Terus. Wih, ada azik. Apa kamu buat? Beda. Zik, kau mesti kau nanti minggu depan pergi apa? Tengok wayang. Bila tu, bila tu? Tanya Kai. Bila dia free? Oh, dia bila ya? Saya free kau yang bawa. Di mana? Di mana? Di di mana ay? Kamu rasa wayang mana yang bagus ah, Kai? Surya, Surya sama. Ura, wayang mana yang bagus ah, Kai? Kuarsa. Apa? Nah, sini mana yang bagus daripada pengalaman sini mana yang bagus daripada pengalaman? Ah? Oh, wayang mana? Kai bodoh ni budak ni. Kau peninggal sedih pak? Tidak, saya bilang. Apa aku bilang? Nah, saya bilang Kalau apa Tua yang mana yang tempat tua yang mana yang sesuai kau mau pergi dari pengalaman kau? Surya Sabah Surya Sabah kah? Ya Kau sih? Apa yang paling bagus? Tidak salah Kenapa sih klip itu? Eh, ini kau yang kick ya Apa yang kick beracun yang detail ini? Pir burung gila, anjing. Izik oke kan internet kau? Oke aja. Kenapa keluar keluar masuk? Antara. Wah. Apa jauh apa jauh? Ada burung baru izik. Dia main gincin. Ada babi di babi baru, anjing. Ada buaya ke tu? Ada buaya ke? Oh, belum nampak lagi. Ada chest baru dapat. Cepat nak siap buaya tu. Dia belum berenang lagi kan belum main. Kejar. Kejar. Update. Hei, rugi yo. Itu mana? Tak ada tak. Tinggal berapa pengik batu? Bom jet dia. Dapat ya update. Oh, gila orang orang semiru gila. Apa nama dia? Ya belum lagi, belum lagi Baru limpas Kau buat Arkon Quest ke sekarang? Eh Arkon Quest, dia cakep buat juga Arkon Quest Ui Laju jo Eh JJ terus anu wah sejap Ui Jadi bilang jangan spoil lo, tapi setia tahan. Oh, lawa, lawa saya macam cuma pagi lah saya tengok. Besar ke, besar ke, besar ke update map baru tu. Bahasa ranjing, kalau kau tahu kan macam monster dua kali ganda, saya siapa, saya ni semeru. Macam besar monster dengan liwe plus ga? Ya. Gila punya besar banget Itu terlebih terlebih Macam Macam Liwe dengan Apa nama satu Chazum campur Gila tu mah Chazum Oh Chazum Nah gitu Saya sudah Besar 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 Dia besar tapi nak besar sangat Besar banget Itu lah tu Tapi aku rasa nanti makin besar tu Tengok lah time 2.2 tu Inazuma tambah lagi kan Inazuma tambah lagi Nah ini 2.2 tambah lagi tu Anjing tiada gila dia naik cap level dia Bapak lah Sabar Malas saya gila tiada cap 65 Wih anjing saya dimana bodoh Oh siya siya 
Monster Jojo Jadi kali Ada pokok terbakar Zel <laughs> Ada sing an <laughs> Apa pun Zel Lawa Ui gila lah Ui Go gi go zik Oh Lawa Diam diam Sudah jangan cerita juga lah Aku dah buat aku spoil Sudah Ui. aku belum dah buat lagi Anjing gue kuat bodoh aku senali punya skill Wuuu Dah gue mau dengar lah Oh gitu Gitu pula skill aku senali Wih sepi Aku senali one back kah? Wih nah wih 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 Alamak Tentu keluar Panas banget abis laptop Ada kolei. Ayah. Kolei jo. Kolei jo. Well, this is Gandharvaville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. My name is Kolei. I'm a trainee forest ranger. My master and I found you passed out during our patrol, so we brought you here. Oh, no, no things are necessary. I didn't do anything really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were in <coughs> Ah, uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. I'm trying. Uy. Apa lagi? <laughs> Gila lah Tidak benar ya Zel Pusnali Pusnali gila kes ya Tiba-tiba Sebenarnya kolek semua tiga nari tolong Anjingnya tiba-tiba Pusnali Cakap baik kelas jahat lah Jadi belum sepuluh ya Jadi dia tengah download Slow apa ya Hei This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. Yes. Oh, gitu. On the off chance, Farbode simply. Jadi ada sudah lah elemen dendro triple kau. Belum lagi. Tapi baru saya tahu. Anu pula orang semiru jat pula. So, how are you? Ah. Feeling better? Oh. Forest. Ay, tapi udah spoil lah. Tapi Forest Ranger orang lain pula, bukan bukan orang semiru pula. Informs Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. Oh, ada benda sudah Apa? Say any out of body experiences, or did you see anything while unconscious? Hmm. Kali, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Huh? Wh why? Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room, and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. Yes, Master Tainari. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, can you tell us what's going on? Sure, let me fill you in. 
I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gundarvaville for further observation while you recuperate. Further observation? No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation once I explain everything to you. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests your mental state is not in the best of shape. If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Oh, are you okay? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? Good. Now Ooh. continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. I see. Did, uh... Seriously? We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, but you really don't look too good. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. Uh, hey! Are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over here worrying about you, you know! <laughs> What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? You mean, the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? If he misjudged your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? Huh? You mean that Tainari already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? But... If that's the case, oh, Paimon gets it now. Okay, it. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Let's well, see. that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucinations. But it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? Good idea. Kali's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. Rise and shine! Come on, it's time to go find Kali! Wow. All right, next let's see your right hand. Hmm, yes, not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful. Understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? Yeah, since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we... <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the- And if you're feeling up to be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. All right, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. 
Yes, you can count on me. What? So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tainari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but, uh, that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and uh. providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Hi, Molly, traveler, this way. You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. The shop said the man. What the hell? Nothing wrong with these two lamps. Let's take it easy. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. What's the stage of seven? The statue of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. Kaima will fly up with you and help you with those hard to reach areas. Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. According to what Master has told me, the Sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the Sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the Sanctuary of Sarasana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Uh... Uh... I'm not too sure what happened to the uh, hell? Huh? You're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh, maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. A anyway, y you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean oh no, Amber. <laughs> yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest <laughs> while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is also very understanding of others. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... Damn. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Harmon thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure, you really like Amber. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kind of weird. <laughs> it's alright, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, 
Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, <laughs> considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Ah, so that's how you knew. Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust. Really, I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Samaru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Delata or the Sanctuary of Surathana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Hmm. So that's why you're here. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? <laughs> Alright, we have a statue to clean. You both have my thanks. While you two are up there cleaning, I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. There we go. Uh, Wait, wrong well, button. I'll go check the facilities up ahead. I, uh... Didn't keep you waiting. Stabilize. Here we go. Uh, got it. Hey. Hey. Uh. The Dendro Archon oh. Statue of the Seven uh. is up there! Whoa, 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 whoa. Amazing. A ship statue. A tool. Oh, oh, no. Isn't it with Dendro? Because huh. now that Paimon looks at it, the deity that's part of the statue is kind of small. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata or less than Finally? Um... Hmm. Maybe less a lot. Somehow. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. For now, let's focus on our job and clean up this. Clean. What the hell? Huh? Wait a sec. Is it just Paimon, or was there something moving? Yeah, it was kind of small and round. You know, like a vegetable or something. Vegetable. It really freaked Paimon out. Whatever it was, we should probably go and investigate. But actually, on second thought. Maybe we should get to cleaning first. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top, and you clean everything below. What you do? So Paimon cleans at the top, and we clean at the bottom. This, what is this? Wait, uh, Paimon, I still T. Why C? Oh T, it's the same as. Um, what do you call it? Electro. Can I... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, what? Just a moment. Ole. Ole, we're back! Oops, what the heck? How do you hear me out? <laughs> Welcome back! You must be tired after all that climbing. Let's take a little break. Take a little break. Any small creatures scurrying around the forest? You know, that kind of look like a veggie. A creature that looks like a veggie? Hmm. Well, I guess Master would say something like, All plants are living organisms, 
so they also fall under the category of creatures. Creatures. Wow, fascinating! It almost sounds like an imaginary creature that you hear kids always talking about. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for anything like it. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Are you too hungry? I packed some food and water for us. Oh, nice. Let's go What kind of goodies did you bring? Bruh, I want to be like... Don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. Xiangling taught Paim on that. I prepared a nice <laughs> portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. I hope Pita you Pockets. Like them. Uh, wh whoops! Ah, no! You dropped it on the ground! Oh no! Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. They should be fine. <sighs> Paimon nearly had a heart attack there. <laughs> oh, Paimon. The uh, hell? Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paima wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been wasted. <laughs> <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. I see. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments too. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. I <laughs> knock stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but she's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called, uh, um, um, uh... Uh, um, <laughs> Academia. Something? <laughs> well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers no. every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. <laughs> no. Seems you already know him well. Anyway. I'm sure the sages were not happy about his responses. Master could obviously have a bright future in the academia, but he insists on sticking to the path of a forest watcher. Every day he helps the locals of the forest and passes on his extensive knowledge to trainees like me. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Ooh. Really? Paima would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. Bruh. No, I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling. Why, oh why? Is she going to die? It probably started <laughs> to get under Master's skin after a while. The she sound almost like Paimon. <laughs> That's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some Paimonial wrath! No! Don't touch me! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, hello, Kale. What's up? Uh, no, I, I just... I, I Don't touch me! you both reacting like that oh well it's getting late now uh let's hurry back to gandarverville 
I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. Don't touch me. Huh? What was up with Kari just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now. Bro, oh, Paimon. I won't be touching random part stuff that you're not supposed to touch. Like colleagues. Let's go get her. Every machine. Hello. What it is it? Um no 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 no. Oh yes, yes, yes. I thought she was gonna send me something. Ha, huh. traveler, you've returned. Yep, we're back. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, no. Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Yo. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Then by moon sunset. Oh wait, oh, wait. Let's check. Yeah, there's compensation claim all. So like, if okay, around six hundred and eighty-nine. So, how about you do a ten pull of this? So we get four in around six. Okay, what else? This bonus of the world. Ah, can you? But this it doesn't raise the check my ass. Hey yo bro, why? Why did Genshin raise thing? It needs to raise the level. I mean are 60 and then like I can't even raise anymore. <laughs> Oh, wait, Maybe we... she's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. Oh, wow, wow, nice. Ah, like that, they use it. Just about to go look for you, huh? Kainari, what are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. Hey, yo, the hell happened? You mean she's sick? How could she be? Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, oh. no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Kainari, what's really wrong with Kale? Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Sure, sure, sure. Are we gonna... Wait, can we use this game? What? Wait. Oh, so we... Yeah, we can only go down with... Or can we go up? Uh, wait. How do I use it? Do I need to use my elemental? No. Wait, oh, down, downstairs. I thought I need to go up. That's what it looks like up. Alright, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? Sure, it's great. to be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. Good so, thing, you. just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Well, yes. Because Kale asked me to. Oh. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. 
So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. Yeah, please stop, Kat. Hey, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, uh, the afflicted may only feel the fuck mild is this numbness in the affected area of the skin. 60. However, as the my disease ass. progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar. Which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. To do something to help Kali too. All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place. Dangerous, my ass. I'm air 60, my guy. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. No problemo. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as Lunar Lotus. It's Itopala. used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Lunar Lotus oh, can be found can. all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. Hey, yo. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. Ooh. You are correct. Lunar Lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. 
The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. We asked a guy, Bobby and Jim. There was a species. big. Take the Calpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh! Huh. Um. Okay, Anne. You can buy mine. Never bring up the topic of flowers with Kaina. This is Oh, I. I don't. Ooh. Boing Boing For the plants, try to kill this Yeah, I got a um, Bungle Spores in activated point point there's another one they use us some rules wow Find any firework materials in here? Take it easy. I will make that on my ass. <laughs> there should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Correct fresh lotuses. Um, think bagus si Ayaka. Ayaka is the best one here. Yeah, we could do it. Big lotus because she can walk. Oh wait, we cannot take any more. Let me take a look. Hmm. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other- Hey, Tainari! Amir. <laughs> oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! Ah yes, that's Amir and the others. Amir. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. They're not the real people. Spice, spice, I'm bearing it as spice. Let's kill him. I'm gonna kill you. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandharvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. So we made the right decision. Hmm, I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. No, I wanna help Tignari. Why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. I don't care. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. The affected area <laughs> not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. 
If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it. Like only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a... But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. Uh, she may not have a vision, but she's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. Hey, Seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you. Ooh, it took kind of look this very, very nice for like what if we need to anything right. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kinda gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. Damn, yeah, Paimon. Is the withering. Be the right, Minecraft. Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Thank you. But I must warn you. Don't put even with elemental powers. Once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme. You ready then? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Summon. Oh. Yeah, nice one. Adventures. Everybody stand. Time for a light show. All right, got everything. Oh, charge attacks. Wait. Does this count as charge attacks? No. Oh, wait, it does. It does, it does. Yeah. Nice one, la. That won't be hard. Because you need auto aims everything. Branches have been cleared. We'll need to take care of the tumor. Stop. Solidify. Fire hazard. Now, destroy the tumors of the withering. Yeah. We got this, my guy. Everything's returning to. Yes. Thanks to you two. We were able to um Tainari? You make it sound like we It's that obvious, huh? Alright, it's like this. Recently the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? But why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Uh. 
No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermansoul before? <laughs>